G'day folks. Well, this is the first of a few videos I'm going to do on these Manurop radial four-cylinder refrigerant compressors. This is the first one that I've cut open. Uh, I'm not going to do a 100% tear down on it because I just want to get weights on each component group. Uh, that way at least the yard can tally up what they want to pay me when I'm done scrapping them. Well, I am getting paid to do this. Uh, I worked out the steel outer shell weighs 19 kilos on its own. It's almost about 35 pounds. Uh, this assembly here with the rotor, the motor end plate and mufflers and everything is classed as irony aluminium. That sells for 25 cents a kilo, a lot more than steel. If the damn rain doesn't stop. Getting, I know you're not going to be able to hear much in this video. Uh, and I'm going to cut the stator housing off and just strip the stator out for full copper. And that's good size comparison with a single cylinder compressor complete. Manurop make a 1, 2, 3 and 4 cylinder range. And this is the biggest they make, 4 cylinder. After that they go up to scroll compressors. The stator on this one here isn't much bigger than the uh, one on the 95 kilowatt giant scroll compressor that I scrapped. It's a pretty decent sized stator. I'm guessing maybe 10 horsepower. So I'm going to try and separate that with these bolts here and then just reattach this bottom plate and rotor assembly. That way it all stays together as one piece as just iny aluminium. The rest of that goes as steel after I've cut the copper out. So it's probably about 25 kilos of steel per unit, a kilo or so of copper, and maybe 5 kilos of iron aluminium. They are worth scrapping. When I mean, they can't go in the bin as they are, there's too much oil and other shit in them. Uh, it'd be illegal to dump them straight in the bin. Well, very angry, but not very effective. Alright, let's try a bit more kick. That's 95 microfarads. Yeah, starting to turn. We need more run capacitors. Right, 120 microfarads. About the most I can do at the moment, unless I daisy chain some more of them together. Yeah, it's not happy. Might be a nice way to burn it out though. Alright, well, I'm not going to start on its own, so I've just decided to bypass the Clickson device so I can't cut out when I want to. I stuck an amp meter in line with it and some heavy duty industrial power flex. It's structural cable, not proper extension lead, so it should t handle at least 25 amps. And I'll hook that straight up to the main panel and we'll see what it can do. Well, we'll see how bad it burns. Alright, the amp meter goes up to 50 amps. The table is grounded but the motor is not. It's sitting on a piece of plywood. So if it starts shorting to the stator, it doesn't actually shut the whole system down. I hate these bloody earth safety switches. You can't remove it legally, so you just got to put up with it. Wow! That circuit breaker should have been toast long ago. That's pulling... 30 something amps, 38 amps. That's just unreal. I think my main circuit breaker's fucked. Yeah, that's bad. I don't really want to burn anything in the house because that's a lot of current. <laughs> that is a lot of current.
run. <laughs> that was it. You can see the amp meter. It didn't kill the whole house, it just killed that main circuit breaker. I have to check what that breaker is really rated to because that's a lot of car. Unless that amp meter is wrong, but that's an AC amp meter. I don't know what else would influence it like that. That's roasted. <laughs> Oil coming out of it. Oh well, I call that one dead. Let's dismantle it and just see what's inside. I want to get scrap weights on these things anyway, it doesn't matter if it's burnt out or not. Well, I'm hoping this whole assembly will go as on the alley because that sleeve there is pressed in pretty hard. I've split it on both sides and I can drag the stator out. It isn't quite as big as the, I thought it would be but it's big enough. Very burnt. <laughs> uh, there might not be enough aluminum to count. I might have to take that steel shield off. It's tight. Or at least pull the mufflers and heads off. Might work. Oh, that'll do for now. I'll chuck this thing on the scales and see what it's worth and then I might pull it to bits a bit further. Although I haven't come across a uh, semi-hermetic complete unit myself, if you like uh, refrigerant compressors, don't forget to check out Bock compressors. They're another big company like Danfoss in Germany. Uh, specialising in semi-hermetic and automotive compressors for buses and trucks and heavy stuff. Got a great video and animation on how they work and product advantages, disadvantages. Not that there are any disadvantages, they have a superb product.